Hi, Michael Anderson with Specialty Archery. Today we're going to review our preferred method for tying in a peep sight. A couple advantages to this method is, number one, it's really, really fast. It usually takes less than a minute to do. The second is it provides a measure of safety in the event of a string breakage or limb breakage. We recommend tying around the center circumference of the peep. Uh, that way it keeps that peep in the string if a limb breaks or a string breaks. We like to use either a constrictor knot or a clove hitch knot tied around the center perimeter groove of the peep housing. The nice thing about both of these knots is that they're self-tightening and once they're tied, they're nearly impossible to loosen without cutting. Next, I will demonstrate these knots on a large scale model for easy viewing. The first knot I'm gonna show you is a clove hitch knot. To tie the clove hitch knot, you start by taking the serving over the top of the peep, making sure it's in the perimeter groove of the peep. On the first loop around, you're gonna to wanna to cross back over the serving material on the second loop, you're going to want to go under the serving material. To tighten, you're going to want to make sure the serving material is in the perimeter groove all the way around the peep. Pull it tight from both ends. To finish, run the serving down the perimeter groove, around the string into a half hitch, repeat on the top, and pull it tight. Same thing on the opposite side of the peep. A half hitch. Another half hitch, pull it tight. Finish, you're gonna to wanna to trim this approximately a quarter inch and melt the ends, being careful not to damage the bolster. The second knot I'm gonna show you is the constrictor knot. You begin the same way by passing the serving material over the top of the peep housing. Similar to the clove hitch, you're gonna to wanna to loop it back over the first turn. However, for the constrictor knot, you're gonna go over the leading end and back underneath first loops again. And again, when you pull it tight, you want to make sure that the serving is fully in the perimeter groove of the peep housing before pulling it tight. Because as mentioned, these knots are self-tightening. Once they're tight, they're extremely difficult to loosen. Once that's tied into place, finish again with a half hitch on the lower section, followed by another half hitch on the upper section, pulling it tight. Repeat on the opposite side of the peep housing, half hitch, tucking it under, half hitch, tucking it under, pulling tight. Trim these about a quarter inch and melt. Again, being careful not to damage the bolster. Now I'm going to show you how to tie these knots on an actual bow. The first knot I'm going to show you is the clove hitch knot. I like to use BCY's 350 nylon serving. It has a little bit of stretch to it and lets you tie a good tight knot. Start out about 14 to 16 inches of it. And loop it around perimeter groove, crossing up over the first loop, and back through underneath the first loop. Before you pull it tight, you want to make sure that it is fully seated in the perimeter groove, all the way around the peep site. Once it's tightened, it will be extremely difficult to get it loose. that's fully seated. You go ahead and tighten it by pulling it both ends. And finish by looping down and tying a half hitch. Bottom strand and making sure it's in the perimeter groove, pulling it tight. One more half hitch on the top. Again pulling it tight. Repeat the process on the opposite side. Half hitch around this bundle. Pulling it tight. Hitch around the top bundle. Again, pulling it tight. The last step is to trim these approximately quarter inch and melt. The second knot I'm going to show you on the bow itself is going to be the constrictor hitch. Again, we begin by starting over the top of the peep housing. Starts out very similar to the clove hitch, looping it around over the top of the first loop. However, on the constrictor hitch, you're going to go back over the first bundle and back through, bringing that underneath both of the first two loops. When you start to pull it tight, you're going to want to guide it into the perimeter groove on the peep housing. Where you pull it up 
fully tight, you want to make sure that it is around the peep sight in the perimeter groove on both sides before you pull it snug. As mentioned, the knot's nice because once it's tied, it's tight, it won't go anywhere. Finish by tying a half hitch on the bottom, going tight, half hitch on the top, pulling it tight. And that side of the peep is done, repeat on the opposite side, half hitch on the bottom, half hitch on the top, pulling it tight. The last step is going to be to trim and melt these ends. So again, you want to be careful you don't melt your bowstring when doing so. Once again, this was Michael Anderson with Specialty Archery. If you have any questions, be sure to visit our website at www.specialtyarch.com.